Combat Annihilation short movie review. This picks up exactly where the first movie left off, and if you haven't watched the first movie, you're going to have no clue what's going on. If you haven't watched the first movie and or played the games, this movie isn't for you. You're, ha you're going to have no clue at all what's going on at any point. And that's kind of it. Every scene introduces at least one new character, and they either fight or do something else, and that's kind of it. You know, there's no real character development. The only character development there is, is for the main characters, and that's essentially just what we got in the first movie as well. The costumes tend to be pretty good, and they do squeeze in a lot of characters from the games, although not everyone actually gets to do something cool. And if what you want is to see the characters from the games fighting on screen, you know, without you having any control over it yourself, the movie is for you. If not, just stay away from it. It's got bad dialogue, horrendous acting. The plot is essentially non-existent. It's just barely even an excuse. The martial arts, however, are quite good. It's much better shot and edited than it was in the first movie, and there are some really cool moves. With that said, they have no impact unless you've played the games, because there's no backstory, there's no detail to it. It's just people fighting each other. And that's kind of it. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.